it's Morgan from Morgan's Reptile Addiction. Um, I was in the middle of recording this video originally, and one of my Amazon packages arrived. I got my temp gun, a ceramic bowl, and two log hides for my new ball python. I can actually show you that enclosure here in a minute. Um, but today's video is about Athena. I had her out the last video, she doesn't want to be out anymore. She's, uh, she's getting very grumpy with me. So, Athena is my bearded dragon. I'm actually going to show you guys her. She is right over here. That's Athena. She's basking right now. It's like 120 degrees where she's sitting, so she is a happy filthy thing. So, Athena is one of my rescue animals who wasn't planned, but ended up being here anyway. Um, I got her from a woman in Flat Rock. Uh, I live in Michigan, by the way. So, I got her in Flat Rock, Michigan from a lady whose husband was no longer taking care of the bearded dragons they have. Or, have. I now have the remaining one. Um, they had two, they gave me both. Um, I named one Athena and the other one Parthenax. Parthenax died about a week into me having him. He was really underweight, he wasn't eating, he wasn't drinking, he wasn't moving, he was very lethargic. He was beyond the point of me being able to help him. Um, I did try though. I bought Reptiboost, I was giving him Reptiboost. Um, I got him to take a bath and drink some water. I usually don't bathe my animal, but he was in the case that he needed it. Plus, they were very, very dusty and dirty because they were being kept on crushed walnut. Um, both of them were being housed together, which is another reason why I took them in. Because you're not supposed to co have your bearded dragons, even if they're male and female. They should not be kept in the same tank in which they were. Now, Athena has never laid eggs. Um, she's also not egg-bound, so I'm very confused on why she hasn't laid eggs. But, um, Athena was actually relatively healthy when I got her. The only thing wrong is she had a respiratory infection due to too low of temps and dust. She eats wonderfully, actually. She loves dubias and crickets and all the worms I can feed her. Um, I think her favorite, though, is, um, she really likes hornworms. I don't feed them often. I actually don't buy them often. I'll buy them maybe every two to three months, and I treat all my insectivores to them. So all my geckos and my bearded dragon. If they're small enough, I do treat my anole to them. He actually very much enjoys them. He also likes super worms, except those are a little big. Um, so, Athena is currently being housed in a 40 gallon tank. She has a basking spot, two hides, and a water bowl. Water bowl is necessary for every living creature. I don't care if you've read that they don't require one. I, I promise you they will do significantly better in life if they have one. Um, tomorrow is the day I get my new ball python. I'm super excited. That's going to be a video that I make tomorrow. Um... There may be another video coming on later today about how I got the iguana and why he looks the way he does right now. But um, Athena's actually very healthy. She could at any point in time use retained sperm from our previous bearded dragon named Cinder to lay me a clutch of eggs. So I'm constantly looking in her tank, making sure there's no eggs, cleaning it. I actually need to clean it. She's got a bunch of peppers and cilantro in there right now because she loves, loves bell peppers. 
She specifically likes the yellow ones. I don't know why. She just does. Um, but yeah, that's how I got Athena. And I'm actually very glad I found Athena. I actually didn't find Athena. I had a post on Craigslist that I was looking for unwanted or... I was looking for unwanted reptiles or reptiles people were unable to take care of anymore. And this lady reached out to me saying she has two bearded dragons that her husband's no longer taking care of. She asked me if I wanted them. I asked for a picture of them first. She sent me the picture of them and... I realized they're housed together and they're not in good living conditions, so I ended up taking them in. My fiance came in and interrupted. I no longer remember what I was talking about. Um, I'm pretty sure I was talking about how I got Athena and how she was kept. I actually think it's all for this video, but um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, I don't know, I don't remember what I was talking about, so I'm just going to end the video here, um, thank you guys for watching, the next video is going to be about the iguana or our new little python, so, I'm excited, I'm really excited about our little python, um, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day, night, evening, and week. And that's it for this video.